Hey guys, this is Ryan at Warrensburg Collision, and today, uh, my improvement, I'm trying to come up with a good way to document and make a format for all of our different welder setups and destructive test welds for each vehicle uh, that we work on. So basically what I've done here is came up with, uh, you know, a way to do it on the actual panel and the panel, the material of the panel that we're replacing, testing with that material, uh, the welder before we actually start welding on the vehicle so we know right when we start welding on the vehicle that they're going to be good welds We're not testing on the car. So basically what I've done here is we have uh, several different setups Here's a, a two panel uh, spot weld Example with a destructive test weld next to it uh, Here's MIG plug welding and what I've done here is you can see next to each one I documented where I had the welder set so that way if I have to come back to it I can go right back to where I was set and have good welds every time I switch uh, setups. Uh, down here is a uh, butt weld with backing, and here we have an open butt weld. Uh, right here we have a three panel spot weld, and here's an example of the destructive test weld. Now what I've noticed here is uh, these smart welders anymore, they change voltage and amperage as they're welding to make the weld as best as possible. So what I've noticed is, if you're doing your weld here on this panel and then you start on the car, you can look at the voltage and amperage that it's putting out once you start on the car and you can make sure that it's the same as what you came up with on the test weld. Um, also, we can take pictures of this, document it for the insurance company showing how many different welder setups and test welds we did and that we actually did do destructive test welds for this vehicle. Uh, if insurance adjusters or anything have any questions, we can show them this. They're welcome to come out and see it. Um, this was actually a Honda Civic here, so we even documented the type of wire that was used to weld it with. It's the Union Bowler X96 wire, which is a 960 megapaxel wire, which is basically four Hondas.